The top three will go forward to the semi-finals tomorrow. The final for this event, incidentally, is the last event on Saturday's schedule. Gina Bass of Gambia will start in lane number eight. Fourth in her heat at the World Championships recently, under 23 seconds at her best. Shanti Pereira of Singapore starts in lane number seven. Ran in the heats of the 100 metres here. And in the heats at the World Championships a couple of weeks ago in Oregon. Lane number six, Asamienwe Simwaka of Malawi. Landlocked country in the southeast of Africa. Inside the Malawi athlete in lane number five. Anganu of Cameroon, fourth at the African Championships in the 400 metre hurdles this year. In lane number four from Guyana, Kanisha Phillips, the 21 year old, in personal best form this year, 23.34 seconds. And then the fastest in the field, Rob was talking about Nigeria flying. In favour of Philly, and start in lane number three, the 19 year old, 21.96 seconds this year. And in the semi-finals at the World Championships. And she completes our lineup in heat number four. There's the current qualifiers by time in terms of non-automatic qualifiers. That 24.12 second clocking. Jado in the earlier heat still leading the way of our six non-automatic qualifiers. So no majorly spectacular times so far in the heats of these 200 metres. Natalia White of Jamaica, 23.61 in the last heat. The most impressive so far in terms of qualifiers for me. We get wind readings, of course, for 200 metres in the home straight, but we don't, of Sorry. course, have them on the bend. But I can tell you the wind is as stiff as a poker in the direction of the face of the athletes on this top bend in Birmingham. Ophelia running well in lane number three. That's to be expected. It's a nice, smooth transition. Bass of Gambia going well on the outside in lane number eight. So Walker of Malawi off the pace in this one. That's better, though, and that's more impressive. That's good. 22.72 seconds. And the Nigerian, Ophelia, looking good there. A nice little plus 1.3 meter win behind him a nice comfortable qualification for the nigerians and they're flying here at this commonwealth games in the field and on the track yes very impressive there and the 200 heats have to be accommodated kath you know this full well with as little effort as possible and retain energies for the later rounds Bass happy enough, I think, with that performance. And uh, Ophelia as well. Certainly wasn't flat out and shouldn't be from lane three. Ran a very strong bend, as you can see. Nice looking runner, beautifully smooth. Negotiates that bend pretty well. It's a good draw, actually, lane three. You don't have to negotiate really tight bends, but uh, get a good view of the rest of the field. And the rest of them are a long way back, aren't they? Gosh, quite a gap between Afili, the winner, and Bass of Gambia, and then Simwaka of Malawi. But a personal best for Simwaka, 23-28. Good effort from her. She needs to go a lot quicker in the next round. And a personal best indeed for Pereira of Singapore, out in lane seven with 23-46. New ground for her. Yeah, nicely done. And there's confirmation, the Nigerian 22.71. And Pereira, with that personal best that Tim mentioned, is now the fastest non-automatic qualifier. And just in the back of that result graphic, you can see... A